it's Scott here. I've put another video together for you on how to do a transmission service on the 722.9 Mercedes transmission. Uh, this is the 7 speed transmission, very common in a lot of the models. It's also a very simple transmission to service. And you'll see uh, with a, a bit of improvisation, it's quite possible to do a very good job yourself at home, including flushing the oil cooler and the oil cooler lines, and you'll do a thorough job, uh, probably better than, uh, than if you pay a lot of money to get it done. So I hope you find this helpful. So we've driven the ML320 onto the ramps, and then we've lifted the rear with the spider lift to get the vehicle horizontal. The first job is to take the plastic pan off underneath the engine. So we're just removing the front plastic cover to get to the crankshaft pulley so we can turn the engine around. There's the transmission oil pan and there's the rubber cap concealing the torque converter drain. So first thing is to remove that rubber cap. That's it. And there you can see the torque converter. Now we have to turn the crankshaft around to bring the drain plug into view. So Mick's got a 27mm socket on the end of the crankshaft pulley and he's turning the engine to bring the torque converter drain plug into view. Yep, there it is. See it? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to undo the TC drain plug with a 4mm hex key. Okay, excellent. Look at that fluid, that's quite old. I can just tell by the colour of it. It's not red. <laughs> While the TC is draining, we're going to remove the oil pan drain plug, and that's a 6mm hex key. Look at the colour of it, Mick. Yeah. I don't think it's ever been changed. That's opaque. It's supposed to be red. That's black. <laughs> so the next step is we're going to dislodge the overflow pipe. So you put a screwdriver just inside the hole there and you can feel the end of the plastic overflow pipe and just give it a, a little tap. That's it. So what happened then is we dislodged the overflow pipe, it's fallen over inside the pan and now the rest of the dreadfully, dreadfully old black smelly transmission fluid is running out. This vehicle's done 120,000 kilometres, not doubt if it's ever been changed. So the TC's drained and we're going to put the TC plug back in, I've put a little bit of sealant onto the plug and some blue Loctite. There we go. That's it. Okay, so do it up sort of, you know, firmly. Don't over tighten it. That's it. So now we're starting to remove the oil pan, so we're just loosening the six bolts. This is with an E10 Torx socket. They're all quite loose, are they? Yep. Very. Okay. So we've loosened all the bolts, now we're just going to run, run out the back ones with the cordless drill. So the whole Take the little bracket and the 
nachher. Yeah, and that's to, if you keep your uh, your left hand on the pan because it will actually start sort of tipping downwards. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. And now the front two, and then if you just do a bit at a time, so run the that. Yeah, the right hand side one out a bit and then the other one. And the pan should start tilting. Yeah. So just let it tilt so that you can run the excess into the container. That's it. Well done. And you can probably just run those out now. You can just sort of just control it with your other hand. Run them out of it. Yep. On the right hand side there, yeah. the clamp is holds a pipe as well, I think. So you've got to sort of pull it off. That's it. That's it. And it's all running into the container. So that's how easy it is to take the pan off. Simple. So now that we've taken the pan off, you can see the filter. So we can just pull that off. It's just held in with an O-ring, that's it. And you can see there's the there's the hole where the, the filter snaps into. So we're looking at the back of the 722.9 transmission in my C-Class, in my W204C class. And on this model and probably with the E-Class as well, there's two 13mm bolts here uh, attached to this bracket which supports the exhaust system and there's two 12 millimeter nuts there so if you just take off those two nuts and these two bolts remove this bracket and that gives you access to drop the pan here's the oil pan next step is to give this a good clean and you can see the overflow pipe here that we tapped up upwards um, that snaps into place on there and we hit that with a screwdriver to dislodge it we're taking the old uh, rubber gasket off because the kit comes with a new gasket. And these are the two magnets. You can see the, the sludge on there, which is all the sort of sub 20 micron particles. So we're going to give this a good clean with evaporative parts cleaner. next thing we're going to do is uh, flush the oil cooler. So this, this pipe here is the high pressure line coming out of the transmission pump. So we're going to remove that bolt to get that pipe out. That's it. If you could pull the pipe out, that's it. A little bit of oil will come out. This is the sports drink bottle, and I've just put about 500 mils of new ATF in there. And I have a pipe here that uh, is pushed through the cap. It's a tight seal, goes down to the bottom of the bottle, and then I have a small hole on the top of the cap here, and I will use the compressor and the air trigger gun to pressurise this container and push uh, new ATF through the oil cooler uh, and just push it through and let it drop out through the transmission into the catch tray and 
you only need about five psi. On the end of the pipe, <clears throat> I've got a fitting here that I've made, so it's just a piece of metal pipe with a piece of rubber hose over the end of, it, end of it that I've put on the grinder and turned into a conical shape and we'll hold that into the end of the um, oil cooler pipe. See, we're pushing the fluid through. It's still black. It's still black. It's red now. Now it's starting to become red. Yeah, that's nice. Fresh fluid coming out. From what I can see. Yeah. yeah. So what we're doing here is just cleaning the bottom of the transmission uh, mating surface where the rubber gasket goes. Point to the whole mic where the yeah, there it is. That's where the, so we're just putting the new oil filter in. And it just pushes into place. into the little bracket and then he'll tighten it up with the Torx socket. Then we've put the new rubber gasket on the pan and also for good measure I've put an additional uh, high strength, high temperature neodymium magnet in the pan. Make sure your overflow pipe is uh, snapped back into place so that it's nice and secure. So we're ready to put the pan back on. Now these are the original bolts holding the pan which are aluminium stretch bolts. We're just going to use normal high tensile um, hex key M6 bolts. These are zinc coated uh, but we're going to use an aluminium anti-seize compound and uh, some blue Loctite. It's just a lot easier and cheaper than using these aluminium stretch bolts. These can only be used once. just going around with the cordless drill set at a very low torque setting. Yeah, just do it till they click. And we're just tightening them up initially in a crisscross pattern. So now we're going around with the torque wrench in a crisscross pattern and tightening them to 10 newton meters. That's it. Now this is the little um, fitting I've made up. Uh, I've got an adapter fitting here with a thread on it that screws into the oil pan drain hole. Short piece of pipe and a valve. And we're going to use the same principle with the compressor and an airlift and push um, the initial fill of about eight and a half litres into the transmission. arrangement I've set up, same as the sports drink bottle. So we've got the, the, the cap here with a tube in it and a small hole for the air trigger gun. And this we will screw onto the bottom of the transmission into the drainage hole and then we'll just push the fluid in um, using the air trigger gun. Just screwing in our special fitting. We're just nipping that up just to make sure it's sealed. That's it, and you can open the valve. That's it, and with your air trigger gun, just do the same thing. And just push that whole four, there's four litres in that container, just push the whole lot in. So 
I've closed the valve and what I've done is I've taped the temperature probe for the digital multimeter onto the uh, oil pan there with a piece of insulating foam over it and now I'm going to start the car and bring it up to start bringing it up to temperature so uh, let's get into that Okay, the temperature is now up to 45 degrees, so I'm now going to open the valve and what we're looking for is a constant flow and then um, it should slow down just, just to dribble or drop, so let's see what happens. Yep, that's pretty good, it's flowing constantly. Must leave the engine idling and the transmission in part. So once it's down to a few drops, that's it. Yep, so it's just sort of spurting out now, so that's the end of it. I'm going to now put the sump plug in. <laughs> 